Hello, this is Josh Silverbauer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about UTMs in Microsoft Clarity. Um, if you have got into this video, you probably know what a UTM is, but uh, just for uh, you know the sake of telling you what it is, uh, UTM is a tracking mechanism that you uh, put into URLs uh, that help you track where people came from before they got to your site. Um, and you can include uh, uh, different information in that URL tracking template uh, to um, you know communicate which campaigns are uh, driving to your site, and therefore you are able to see the traffic uh, associated with those campaigns, and ultimately see if any conversions have been associated with campaigns. So it's a great way to you know track your marketing efforts, and um, in Clarity uh, they show up in a few different places. So first place is this scorecard up here. You will have a scorecard um, or a, um, a little widget um, up uh, that you can toggle between the different sources, campaigns, and channels and refers that are driving to your website. And you can use them to drill down into particular ones, which will then update the page um, for just that information here. So for instance, we see you know, the source is Google um, and I get to see all the rest of the data on this scorecard or on these uh, little cards here, these widgets um, uh, as they, you know, as they relate to the UTM source Google. Uh, you also have the ability to filter down into uh, different um, traffic UTM sources and mediums and campaigns. Um, so you can, you know, pick a referring site, a source, a medium, a campaign or a channel uh, to drill down into. Um, so say we wanted to just see people who are, for instance, coming from uh, LinkedIn here. Uh, let's go to, actually, let's go and find people who are coming from, uh, let's say YouTube. Uh, so only, you know, one person, but you can drill that down and we, we, we have uh, the ability to see that um, as well. Um, or we can go into here and take a look and drill down into specific campaigns. Um, this can also, you can also drill down into your smart events, which are key actions that people are taking on your website. So we have 15 sessions that had contact us. So if I want to see, you know, um, just sessions that had contact us and I want to see which campaigns are driving them, which sources are driving them, you, you have the ability to drill that down as well, uh, through just the smart event. Um, all uh, filters are able to be applied to multiple different tabs. So we're looking at the dashboard right now, but you can also drill down into just those sources and mediums in your recordings or your heat maps. Um, so if I, for instance, go into you know just uh, Google, um, I can see you know just the sessions um, and the uh, heat map information. Uh, that is filtered down by the source Google. Uh, so this is a nice way to, you know, see how specific engagement is occurring from specific UTM sources. Uh, finally, um, you can also use um, chat uh, on your Copilot chat here to get information about UTM. So if I want to say um, something like, uh, can you tell me uh, the top sources, mediums that are driving traffic to my site. Let's just refresh and make sure we got this work in here. Okay. Um, you can ask, uh, the chat to give you information about your source mediums and you can, you know, pretty much ask it anything you want. Um, and it will give you the information that is, uh, associated with that. So, um, I asked, you know, what sources of mediums are driving to the website and it gave me, you know, the information here around which source mediums are driving the most traffic to the site. Uh, over the last three days, and then you can filter down into the criteria that you, it's using to to kind of see, um, you know, uh, more information around that. So uh, these are a few different ways that you can use UTMs in uh, Microsoft 
clarity. Um, and it can be pretty simple and easy tool to understand, you know, how your traffic sources are performing on your website.